Uh, this video is about comparing peer-to-peer -peer networks with a client-server network. Um, there is a to remember there. There are one, two, three, four. Uh, there are six areas to um, you know that you can compare the two type of networks. The the um, the six areas can be remembered in a sort of a mnemonic, which should come up on your screen right about now. Um, the six areas are cost, IT technicians. Fault, size, centralized, and data access. If we start off with peer to peer and obviously make a comparison as we go along, we start off with cost as being the first one. Cost in a peer to peer network would be it's much cheaper to start off a peer to peer network compared to a client server because uh, the system is more complex and needs a file server with a higher specification than the workstations in a client server compared to a peer to peer. If The um, second one's IT technicians. With a peer-to-peer -peer network, you won't need IT technicians because it's a small network compared to the client server, which requires you know someone to manage the network. Also, um, faults with a peer-to-peer -peer network that if a workstation fails or the cable breaks, the network can't function. And obviously, like with the client server, if you have the server that fails, then even the client computers, which are the one obviously the ones that are connected to the file server, they won't work. So I mean, they both have their faults, but it depends on you know what sort of fault it is. Because if a file server crashes, then all the computers are out, and they can't function because all the main data is stored in the file file server. Compared to the peer peer to peer, where you know if the network breaks, you can continue working on your own computer. However, you just can't share data with others, or you can't access something from another net from another computer. Size. Peer-to-peer -peer networks are usually small networks. They have just about sort of 15 computers about m at maximum on them. Here's a ring network topology. As you can see, it only works for a small number of um, computers. So obviously, when you compare it to a, um, uh, a client-server network like you have here, you can have a much larger network because you can fit hundreds of computers around that m file server, obviously depending on the size of the file server itself as well. Uh, centralized is the next one. As you can see with this one, uh, the star network, you have a centralized area where you can store your data and everything and security can be centralized, access to the computers can be centralized, whereas with a ring you can't actually do that, which is ring or a bus, which is more peer-to-peer -peer networks. Data access in a peer-to-peer -peer, you have to have the, the, the permission of the owner of that computer, I mean, necessarily doesn't have to be the owner, like the company, but I mean the person who uses it, etc. has to be, you know, has permission, whereas the client server is easy access you know to the file server pull out whatever data whatever software you actually want so that was comparing peer to peer and client server in the four, in the six categories that were cost IT technicians fault size centralized and data access thank you very much for watching